hello and welcome to today's video so please do not mind the messy background you have my desk alex's desk gwen's kitchen yeah oh and then behind me is sleeping baby there's just everything behind me but i am so excited because i have a january wrap-up i'm so happy i have one and i have a tbr for february too so Without further ado, here is my January wrap-up and my February TBR. So I started my bullet journal um, again, and this is it. So I have in here to keep track of my feelings on each book. I have this page that tells me what I read. So the first book I finished in January was The Glass Arrow by Kristen Simmons. Kristen Simmons. Yep. I don't think this is a series. I think it's a standalone. I'm pretty sure it's a standalone. And I am mixed on it. I think I rated it a three, but it might be a two, but I, it's so hard to say, so I'll just keep it as a three, maybe, or a two. Ah. I'm so conflicted on this book. So this a book has been described as The Handmaid's Tale and Blood Red Road. And I've never heard of Blood Red Road and I did not like The Handmaid's Tale. I was pretty bored. I liked the beginning, but then I just, it just was so boring, I thought. I don't know, it just wasn't very exciting. This one was definitely a little bit more exciting, but it was very, very slow for some parts and just boring. And um, it just kind of like dragged on and then the exciting part was exciting and I just wish the whole thing was a little bit more exciting. So this is about a world where most women have been killed. There is some left, but they are kept to a certain population and they are pretty much just meant for breeding. And then after that, um, yeah. And they are auctioned off and bought by people for breeding or, I don't know, whatever purposes. The main character wants to escape because she was born in the wild in the mountains and was captured and put into a house where they prep them to be sold for auction. So she wants to escape and go find the family that she left in the forest when she was captured and to make sure they're okay. Then the next book I read was Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo and this was amazing. I absolutely loved it. It was so good. I've tried reading it a few times, but then for some reason I always put it down. I don't know why, because I love her writing and I love Six of Crows. I love that duology. This one, I love. I love her writing. I love the characters. I love the Grishaverse. I very much loved this book. I don't understand why people love the Darkling so much, but maybe the next books will tell me why, but I don't understand why they like the Darkling so much. I read this and I I don't really see. Like I'm not a huge fan of the Darkling, but as a character, he's a very good character. They're all really well-rounded, good, solid characters. Loved it. I think I gave it a four out of five. Could be a five out of five, honestly. I really liked it. So the last book in this wrap-up portion, I haven't finished yet, but I will definitely finish it in the last three days of January, and it is Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo, and I am on page 296, and there's 435 pages, so I'll finish it soon. I am loving it so far. I love the story. I love the writing. It's so good. Love it. Love it. For my February TBR, first of all, I cannot believe it is almost February. Alex is going to be 24. I can't believe it's almost February. And it's, you know, it's just weird that, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I haven't really gotten older and then I go back and look at my videos and it's like so much has happened from when I first started BookTube to now that it's just crazy. So, anyways. 
it's just weird. In February, I have five things that I want to read. I have three YA fantasy novels, one sort of self-help, self-development book, and one graphic novel. So I will show the YA books at the end. So the first one I'm going to show you is The Last Man Book 2 by Brian K. Foggen, Pia Gira. I'll just move it closer. There you go. And I read the first one right after Christmas. I liked it, went out, got this one, and I haven't read it yet. I thought I'd read it right away, but then Saga 8 was out, so I read that, and then life just got crazy, and then I read some novels, and Reginald, you're, okay, you're in the cat tree right now, and Reginald is really not happy that I'm sitting right by the cat tree talking. He is so mad, I'm scared he might jump at my face. Please don't. So this is about, like, I don't know, this disease, I guess, that wipes out all of the male population except for the main character and his male monkey. And it's about that. Yeah. Then my self-help, self-development book is You Are a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life by Jen Sincero. So I have started reading this already, but I stopped because I wanted to get some post-it notes so I could post it and just mark up the book on passages that I liked because um, there's a lot of good quotes in here and just ideas that I would like to make obvious. So when I flip through it, they're easy to find, easy to just skim over whenever I need to. So I started over this morning and th yeah, that way I can post it and just highlight and mark it up. So for the novels I want to read in February, of course, the first one is Ruin and Rising by Leigh Bardugo. This is the last book in the Grisha trilogy, and I'm so excited. My goal was to read them all in January, but then that didn't happen. So this will be my February read. Exciting. Next I have Midnight Jewel by Rochelle Mead. So this is the second book in the Glittering Court trilogy, but it's not really a trilogy, it's like a companion trilogy. So the first book was One Friend, this book is Mira, and the third book will be The Other Friend. I forget her name. So yeah, I have started it. I'm only on page 23. And so far it's good. I kind of forgot a couple things, but it's it's coming back to me. And this series was about um, these girls that would go to this finishing school type thing to prepare for going to the new world um, where they would meet husbands and have a comfortable life. So it was it was interesting. It was like a um, you know a court in like a castle? It was like that sort of thing with the girls learning how to be proper and the fancy dresses and etiquette lessons. It was all of that, but then when they moved it was like frontier, gold mining, western sort of a vibe. So it was an interesting mashup and personally I kind of enjoyed it. So I'm looking forward to reading this one and seeing what this character's story was because they really left it as a mystery. With the first book you only got that character's story. So I'm interested to see this character's story and I'm super interested for the third book. Her story I think will be very interesting. So the final book that I'm going to try and read in February is The Crown's Fate by Evelyn Skye. I read the first book with my friend and there's apparently a huge waitlist at the library so she hasn't had time to pick it up and read it so I'm just going to read it before I completely forget what happens in the first book. I'm already forgetting things so I know I should probably read like a spoilery review or watch a spoiler review before picking up this book but I should read it this month before I forget. So these are the books from my January wrap up and my February TBR. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.